Star Wars issue 50 sees the Rebellion celebrating the launch of their new Mon Calamari fleet, all of which has been outfitted fully by Queen Trios of Show Turin, who congratulates Leia on all she has achieved. Leia corrects her, saying not one person did this, but they all did it together. At the Ring of Caffrine, Han and 3PO meet with a contact and finalize a deal over some codes. Chewbacca arrives and alerts his friends to bounty hunters. Getting the device they came for, the trio head out of the cantina's back door, ambushing the hunters who follow them and relieve them of their weapons as Han tells them he's good for the money Jabba wants from him. Returning to the Falcon, Han can't wait to sell the fresh transponder codes he just bought, but Chewie wants to return to the rebel party and what Luke has in store for them at it. Luke Luke meanwhile readies himself to participate in the Rebel Fighter Squadron show for the Rebellion's guests. Returning to the hangar, Luke can't believe all of the Rebels he is seeing in one place, but General Dudonna reminds him the fleet will be splitting up and hiding until they are required. Leia readies all of the flagships, telling their commanders to ready for hyperspace as Mon Mothma delivers her speech to the gathered Rebels, proclaiming that the Rebellion is stronger than ever now. As they try and enter hyperspace, the ships don't move. In the confusion, Leia notices that Queen Trios is gone, but it's too late as the Super Star Destroyer Executor and Small Star Destroyers exit hyperspace, catching the Rebels in a trap. Darth Vader demands his men stand down, however, as the Rebels' fear isn't sufficient enough for him yet. Luke and the others rush to their fighters, but the hangar doors won't open and none of the weapons or shield systems will work on the ships. With fear spreading throughout the ranks, Vader fires on the Rebels, destroying General Willard's ship. Vader finds the attack satisfactory and when asked what the next target will be, he says they will go for the Rebels' hope. Months before at his castle on Mustafar, Vader meets with Admiral Ozzel, who says the Empire needs to do something to shore up its power in the wake of the Death Star's destruction, and Vader should release his Death Squadron and go after the Rebellion immediately. General Veer says that they need to let the Rebellion grow, comparing them to weeds that need to grow into trees that can be cut down and removed completely. Vader agrees and heads to Show Turin, where he meets with Trios and wants her to begin mining the ruins of Jeddah and supply information to the Rebellion in order to gain their trust and help them build an armada before the Empire will swoop in and destroy them once and for all. Vader reminds the Queen on what would happen if she resists him, and one of her men voices their disapproval, so Trios kills him. Activating his lightsaber, Vader kills everyone else in the chamber save for Trios, not wanting any witnesses to the deal that has just transpired. Star Wars issue 50 not only sees the series reach a quite big milestone, but also begin an interesting and dark story as the Empire launch what is really their first large skirmish against the Rebellion. I'm loving Kieran Gillen's continuous use of Queen Trios and her beefed up role in this ongoing. She's a great character who on one hand is essentially a hostage to Vader and his Iron Will, but also kinda likes working with him and is equally as terrifying as the Dark Lord. For once as well, the art was quite passable, especially the huge splash pages of the Executor arriving at the battle. That was really cool. I feel this is the beginning of our transition from post A New Hope stories to pre Empire Strikes Back stories as we itch closer towards that movie and I'm excited to see what's to come. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.